Mr. Ford took $6,000 out of minimum wage workers' pockets, and now he has Bill 124, a low-wage policy that not only affects workers in the public sector, but now it's spreading into the private sector. Well, and, and people are on strike for good wages because Mr. Ford's buddies figured out that he's setting a stage for a low-wage economy. And so we have Layuna on strike. We have Carpenters on strike. We Ms. have Drywallers on let strike. Let Mr. Ford come in because he wanted to address your point. Economy, okay, well, Mr. Ford. You, you know something, I, I appreciate your comments, but they're totally inaccurate. We're in the only government. We had more housing starts than we've ever seen in 30 years. No, we've had more housing. rental starts yeah, exactly. than we've ever seen in 30 years. You know, uh, Ms. Horvath and Mr. Del Duca and, and Mr. Schreiner, uh, I'm the only one that it's wants an old to build. Story. There, there isn't any building no, or any building you, development that you Ford, aren't the, against. The question you is, who do you want to build for? Absolutely, you don't want to build for hardworking families. Ford, you want, and and, you want and, to line you know, the pockets of your political donors. You want donors. to talk about the hardworking men and Delgado, women that build? Let him finish. You know, Mr. Ms. Horvath, for years, the the the, the, the union supported you. Well, guess what? The Boilermakers don't support you. Leona do doesn't support you any anymore. And the electrical uh, workers don't support you. You've lost touch. You're out of touch with the hardworking <laughs> men and women. I think you need to this, look in the in mirror, Mr. Ford. When, 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 when the trade is, unions are supporting us for the first time, they know we're going to get it done okay, well, and we're going to spend money on infrastructure. Please, please, That's please, why they're supporting us. They don't believe in you any longer. Mr. Ford says he wants to build his own budget predicts that housing starts this year will actually be 13,000 homes less exactly. than last year. That's right. Right. What he wants to build is he wants to build a fiscally and environmentally reckless highway. <clears throat> Not only is this highway 413 and Bradford Bypass building. bad enough, yeah. but I think he rerouted the highway just to be able to support a few additional land speculators who are going to get even wealthier off of this highway, putting it through a more uh, even even reckless environmental uh, path. The Bradford Bypass. Just when a golf course buddy donor said, hey, we don't want it through our golf course, he rerouted it around them. He will roll out the red carpets for the Amazons of the world and the big box stores of the world. But when it comes to supporting local farmers, he'll pave over their farmland, hurting our economy. Oh, I, actually, when it comes to protecting actually, us from flooding from and the, the climate change, That's he'll, he'll pave over the wetlands that clean our drinking you know, water and protect so, Mr. us. Mr. Schreiner, if it was all, up to you and all, up to the three of you, no, you wouldn't build nothing. You would I'd rather build transit, protest. I'd build You'd transit. Protest, I'd build housing. Then, then I'd get build, the roads built. The I'd build public built. infrastructure. So listen, I'd build I, schools. I just, I just want to be clear. Hospitals. I just want to be like clear. I want to be clear about something here this evening. Yeah. Four years ago, Doug Ford stood on a stage like this one. He looked into the camera and he said to the people of Ontario, if elected premier, he would make it cheaper and easier for you to buy a home. And since that point in time, the cost of a house in Ontario has climbed by nearly half a million dollars. The Ontario Liberal plan will build 1.5 million new homes, all forms of housing, right across this province over 10 years. We will bring back real rent control in this province to help renters. We're going to make sure that surplus provincial land gets unlocked and everything that we sell on those lands will go to first-time home buyers, Mr. who Doug Ford has abandoned for well, four Mr. straight Mr. years. 